Do you ever pour yourself a bourbon, swirl it around, and then start struggling to come up with tasting notes? And perhaps you're also looking for a good Father's Day gift idea. Well, you can now solve both with a kit from Nose Your Bourbon. And unlike other nosing kits on the market, Nose Your Bourbon kits feature real ingredients for the most authentic aromas. You can smell real Tahitian vanilla bean instead of some synthetic aroma that's just made from chemicals. So head on over to NoseYourBourbon.com and enter code BP10 for 10% off your order. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie. And today we're looking at a brand new product coming from Belfour Spirits. And a little bit about this one, I had a chance to actually meet Ed Belfour, who was an NHL goalkeeper way back in the day. He's got all kinds of awards and medals and accolades, but this was something that he had started with his family and his sons to kind of create a living and lasting legacy and stuff like that too. So kind of cool to be able to see that, but what we're going to be looking at today is their Belfour bourbon finished with Texas pecan wood. So this is inspired by an enormous pecan tree on the old Belfour Ranch in North Texas. It's a 92 proof bourbon with, uh, and by the way, a lot, of, a lot of their whiskey is always said distilled in North Carolina on the side of it. So that's where they contract and do some other stuff with. Uh, but this is going to be uh, where they take their whiskey and they, they take toasted pecan staves and insert them into barrels to provide its unique yet nostalgic flavor. So again, 92 proof, there is no age statement, but it has an $85 SRP. I think it's Southern Distilling is a big contract facility in uh, North Carolina. So maybe that's where it is, but who knows? I know there's a lot of good distilleries in North Carolina up and coming. So but the package reminds me of my grandfather's like cologne bottle. Oh, I mean, it's... shave or something, you know, very old nostalgic. <laughs> I mean, it's very much like uh, Miami back in the days yeah. with uh, all the, I, I can't forget, Art Deco. There we go. Thank you. Of the of the, that that time period. Yeah. Well, let's dive cool. in. Here we go. On with the nose. Straightforward. I mean, yeah. There's some classic bourbon notes: caramel, vanilla, a little bit of corn. But there's kind of this nuttiness too. That's kind of. I don't know if that's just in my head because I'm thinking of the pecans. Pecan wood. Uh, yeah, you're like, but, oh, there's a walnut in there, but. There's definitely some kind of woody or nutty note that's in there that uh, I'm liking. There's there's a there's a good oak characteristic. I think there is. Yeah. All right. On with the taste. It's nice and sweet, like a kind of like a brown sugar caramel drizzle on a dessert or something, and then like there's this nice like oak like woody component on the finish that kind of lingers, like kind of a little tannic bitterness that I'm actually liking. I mean, if you'd have told me this is a 86 to 92 proof Kentucky straight bourbon. I've been like, okay, probably. I think it has a lot of those typical characteristics that you do get out of it. Yeah. And the, but it's very sweet, uh, very rich, you know, for, for that proof, I was impressed how much flavor there is. Um, so nicely done for sure. Well, let's go ahead and rate it on the nose. Where you at? Mm, sideways. It was okay. There, there were some things I liked, but nothing overwhelming. And the taste thumbs up. I really liked it. I agree. And the finish. I'll go sideways, a little light, but uh, overall, a nice uh, low entry proof, not entry proof, but low proofer expression that, uh, you know, you can really just enjoy, um, you know, all the time, I guess. It's not going to just like blow your palate up. It's nice and balanced and soft and sweet. For sure. And I know there's a lot. That's how I am, soft and sweet. Oh, you really are. You're kind of a big teddy bear. That's right. (laughs) Uh, And again, this is coming from Ed Belfour. And I remember I was at Specs one time and we had kind of a, We'd have like a, it was a, a sign off, if you will, because he was doing bottle signings and I was doing bottle signings. And his line was a lot bigger than mine. So there's a lot of NHL fans that are out there. So not if, podcasters, not fans. podcasters, unfortunately. But if you are interested of trying something new, it's coming from one of the greats in NHL. This is a great way to get it started. That's right. With that, that is our review of Belfour's straight bourbon whiskey finished with pecan or Texas pecan wood. With that, cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time. Toodles.